Hello, everyone. I'm Yue from University of Pennsylvania. Today, I'm going to present our recent work on cloud FPG virtualization, which is advised by Professor Li. In the past several years, FPG have been deployed into several clouds to support on-demand acceleration. However, the system support for FPG in the cloud environment is insufficient. At first, the resources management strategy is simple. In the existing clouds, one FPG is exhaustively allocated to one application regardless of the amount of resources used by these applications. But we have observed that diverse applications use distinct amount of resources. Thus, this simple management strategy could lead to a low resources utilization. Moreover, the commercial FPG compilation tool can only map one application onto a single FPG device. Thus, if users want to improve the performance by using multiple FPGAs, they need to manually partition the applications and carefully handle the inter-FPG communication, which leads to a high programming complexity for the scale-out acceleration. The root cause of this limitation is that the cloud FPG are not virtualized. Virtualization is the foundation of the cloud computing. Then the question is, how to virtualize FPG in the context of the cloud environment. This is a challenging task, since FPG are radically different from the traditional computing devices in several aspects. At first, CPU application describes a sequence of instructions that are executed in the, in the temporal domain. On the contrary, FPG application describe physical circuits that are directly mapped onto the spatial architecture. Moreover, FPG has a long compilation time since it needs to place numerous components onto the spatial architecture and routes numerous interconnection nets. Thus, performing FPG compilation at the wrong time could lead to a high overhead. Finally, a more important difference is that the CPU applications can be executed at any time point without changing the comp computation results while FPGA application cannot be relocated into an arbitrary location without causing correctness issue. Due to these differences, the virtualization techniques developed for the traditional computing devices cannot be trivially applied onto FPGAs. We know that there are lots of works on FPGA virtualization. Some early inspiring work such as SCORE is proposed even before the cloud computing becomes popular. Due to the time limitation, I will only present two recent methods as examples to show the research efforts on the cloud FPGA virtualization. More related work can be found in our paper. Then I will present our solution, VITAL, the evaluation results, and the summary. Slot-based method partition physical FPGA into regions and all regions provide the same amount of RPG resources and the same interface to the peripheral devices. Then these regions are abstracted as a pool of virtual FPGAs. Use application are offline compiled onto virtual FPGAs and are deployed onto physical FPG at the wrong time. Since the resources are managed at sub-FPG granularity, this method enables FPG sharing and improves the resources utilization. To reduce the management complexity, this method typically partitions physical FPGAs into regions with the same capacity. This, however, makes it hard to support a diverse application and the improvement in resources utilization could be limited due to the internal fragmentation issue. Moreover, this method neither provides support for the scale-out acceleration. Amorphous OS is another interesting work on FPG virtualization that achieves much better FPG sharing than the slot-based method. It provides two operating modes and switch between these two modes based on the load and the resources availability. The low latency mode uses the slot-based method, while the high throughput mode compiles a combined application onto a single FPG to enable FPG sharing. Here gives an example to illustrate the high throughput mode. This mode can achieve a better FPG sharing than a slot-based method, but the, improvement, but the improvement could be limited because it has no multi-FPG support. 
Moreover, since the performing compilation at the wrong time could lead to a high overhead, this mode needs to offline compile many combinations to support the diverse runtime requests, which increase the offline compilation cost. With no multi-IPG support, this mode also requires users to partition larger applications to realize scale-out acceleration. This is a summary of this method, and our goal is to provide a solution to efficiently virtualize cloud IPGAs. Before presenting our solution, we want to first clarify the target platform. We target a platform that IPGAs are connected with each other through the data center network. This is similar to the configuration used in the Microsoft IPG cloud. This work then focuses on the virtualization of the homogeneous IPG cluster. Why to virtualize the IPG cluster into a single and large virtual IPG? so users can develop applications without considering the capacity of the physical IPJ. Then a compilation framework is developed to partition the user application into virtual blocks. The number of virtual blocks is automatically determined by the compilation framework based on the amount of resources used by the applications. At the wrong time, these virtual blocks are deployed onto physical IPJs. One unique feature of VITAL is that the virtual blocks can be relocated into different special locations without recompilation. This means that we can reuse the compilation result to support the different runtime resources allocations leading to a low compilation cost. This relocation capability also enables IPG sharing to improve the resources, resources utilization. To support scale-out acceleration, Vital provides a latency-sensitive interface for the interblock communication. Application can be partitioned at the boundary of virtual block and then deployed onto multiple IPGAs. This is one possible partition, and this is another one. Vital contains four layers to realize this functionality. The programming layer, the system layer, the compilation layer, and the architecture layer. The architecture layer is the core of VITAL framework, which provides the abstraction and the IPG implementation. We abstract IPGs into an array of identical virtual blocks. Each block provides the same amount of on-chip resources and the same interface to the peripheral devices. A latency-sensitive interface is then provided for the interblock communication. The interface contains FIFOs for data buffering and the control logic to manage buffers and handle back pressure. This control logic also sends the clock enable signal to the user logic in the virtual block to control its execution based on the FIFO status. Specifically, it clockgates the user logic to halt its execution when the input FIFO is empty or the output FIFO is full. This communication mechanism can effectively hide the communication latency. Thus, the interface can be either implemented by the on-chip in the connection network or the off-chip in the connection network without changing the design of the user logic. The finally, the interface is automatically generated by the compilation framework without increasing programmer's burden. To support this abstraction, we partition one physical IPJ into three regions. At first, we create identical physical blocks to implement the virtual blocks. We then create a communication region to implement the latency-sensitive interface and create the service region which contains the essential circuit to virtualize the peripheral devices. Here is an example to show the virtualization of the onboard DRAM, where the physical blocks use virtual memory address to access DRAM to ensure a secure execution environment. At the wrong time, one physical block is allocated to implement one virtual block. The key reason we can relocate applications without recompilation is that we create identical physical blocks. This identical means two things. Physical block provide the same amount of resources and have the same special resource constraints. Here, block 1 and 2 are considered as identical while block 3 is not since it has different resources constraints. 
the compiled virtual block can be relocated between identical physical blocks without incurring crack crackness issue. This is the reason why we can reuse the compilation results for different resources allocations. To create identical physical blocks on the commercial IPJs, we leverage the fact that IPJ have a column-based architecture. This means that one column has the same type of resources, so we can partition IPJ at the row direction to create identical physical blocks. But we also note that this column-based architecture is only a simplified view of IPJ architecture, and the commercial IPJ introduced several other heterogeneities. These heterogeneities have been correctly handled in our IPJ implementation, and the more details can be found in our paper. A certain amount of IPJ on chip resources need to be reserved to implement the latency-sensitive interface. So we also need to minimize its resource usage to maximize the amount of resources that are available to the user applications. We first consider the virtual-to-physical mapping. If we allow a flexible virtual-to-physical mapping, then a huge interconnection network is required to connect every pair of physical blocks. To simplify this interconnection network, we leverage the locality information in the virtual blocks and require that adjacent virtual blocks can only map to adjacent physical blocks, so the network only needs to connect adjacent physical blocks. With the simplified interconnection network, the communication latency of two adjacent physical blocks will be deterministic if these two blocks are on the same physical IPJ. Then we can remove the FIFOs to further reduce the resource usage. Here gives a conceptual example to show how the interface works without FIFOs. While a physical block outputs a data token, the corresponding control logic will notify the adjacent control logic, which then calculates the arrival time of this data token based on the communication latency, and will let the user logic to start execution when the token arrives. But note that we, keep the we still keep the FIFO for the inter-IPJ communication, since the off-chip interconnection network could have a non-deterministic latency. We develop a complete compilation framework to map application onto the proposed abstraction. This compilation framework reuse the existing high-level synthesized tool to convert applications into Verilog RTL code. We then reuse the front end of the existing IPJ compilation tool to synthesize the Verilog, Verilog RTL code into NetList. A custom tool is then developed to partition this NetList into multiple virtual blocks. This step is developed to minimize the number of interblock connections to reduce the requirement on the interblock communication bandwidth and ensure the partition netlist can fit into the virtual blocks. We then develop another custom tool to generate the latency insensitive interface. This step generates two latency insensitive interfaces for each pair of adjacent virtual blocks. One interface contains FIFOs and is used for inter-IPJ communication, while the other one has no FIFO and is used for intra-IPJ communication. We then reuse the backend of the existing IPJ compilation tool to map virtual blocks into physical blocks and map the interface into the communication region. A custom tool is then developed to relocate the mapped virtual blocks into other physical blocks. Finally, all these individually compiled components are integrated into monolithic design by the backend of the commercial IPJ tools to generate the final bit streams. The last step generates multiple bit streams that are used for different resources allocations. In the system layer, we add a system controller to manage the IPJ cluster. It provides APIs to hypervisor for a simple system integration. When user requests to deploy application onto IPJs, the system controller first searches the resources database to find the available physical blocks, and then searches the bitstream database to find the appropriate compilation result. We know that the limited inter-IPJ communication bandwidth 
could become a performance bottleneck in such a system. So we provide a communication of well resources allocation policy to minimize the interblock inter IPG communication. With this policy, the system controller first tries to allocate a single IPG for the application. If it cannot, then it tries to partition the application at the virtual block boundary that has the minimal requirement on the communication bandwidth. We evaluate the vital framework on a custom-built IPG cluster, which contains four IPGs. These IPGs are connected through a bidirectional ring network, which is similar to the configuration used in AWS IPG cloud. We then include two baselines in the performance comparison. In the first baseline, IPG resources are not virtualized and are managed at per-device granularity. We choose this baseline since it is widely used in existing IPG clouds. Another baseline is the high-throughput mode of Amazon OS. We choose this as baseline because it can outperform the slot-based methods. These bench three benchmark sets are used in the evaluation. The first set contains several small synthetic benchmarks to evaluate the architecture layer. The second set contains several machine learning benchmarks to evaluate the compilation layer. In the benchmark set, each benchmark has three asserted designs to account for the diverse demand on cost and performance in the cloud environment. The third set contains several large workload sets to evaluate the system layer. Since no real-world workload set using IPG is available, we synthetically generate this workload set to emulate the dynamic runtime environment. This is the implementation of the abstraction on a commercial IPG, which contains 10 physical blocks. The amount of resources provided by each physical block and the communication bandwidth provided by the latency-insensitive interface are presented. We also observe that the optimization on the latency-insensitive latency interface effectively reduce the resources usage by more than 80%, and, is, and the resource usage is controlled below 10% below of the total IPG resources. The evaluation also confirms that the additional steps only increase a marginal compilation overhead. This is because these customer tools have a much lower runtime complexity than the place and route tool in the commercial IPG framework. In, for the system layer, we use the average response time as a performance metric, which includes the wait time and the execution time. Compiled with a non-virtualized baseline, Vital achieves 82% improvement due to the efficient IPG sharing. While comparing with a mobile OS, Vital also improves the response time by 25% on average. This is because the high super mode of Amorphous OS does not provide multi-IPG support. So in the case that the combined application is too large to fit into one IPG, it is hard for the Amorphous OS to improve the system performance. To summarize our vital framework, the architecture layer provides identical virtual and physical blocks. This is a key to enable efficient IPG sharing since we can relocate the application at the wrong time without the recompilation. The latency insensitive interface is the key to support the scale out acceleration. We then develop a compilation framework to map application onto the proposed abstraction and a system controller for the runtime resources management. With all these components, we are able to create the illusion of a single and large virtual IPG to users. Nevertheless, we also know that IPG virtualization is much more challenging than the virtualization of traditional computing devices. The proposed vital framework is our initial efforts on cloud IPG virtualization, and we plan to extend the vital framework to a more comprehensive system in our future work. We would like to thank Professor Andrew for his technical feedback. We would also like to thank our colleague Jia Liang and Li Fu for their support in the system prototyping and evaluation. This work was in part supported by DAPA. Thank you for listening.